Hey guys, it's Ray. So today I wanted to share with you how to decorate a mason jar with bees. I'm going to be using this mason jar, my white acrylic paint and my brush. And I'm just going to be covering the whole thing and a bit of inside as well. Just the bits that you can see. Then we're going to be using some yellow acrylic paint and a brush again. Pretty much giving second and third coat to the white acrylic paint that I just did. Once it's done and dry, I'm going to be taking some twine and I'm going to cover or wrap the handle part, the handler, whatever you call it, that part using some super glue, pretty much covering it like this. I tried using some hot glue, by the way, and it didn't work out at all. Then I tried using some like white glue, like for school and stuff, didn't work at all either. So I just recommend you to do super glue for this. And once I covered the whole thing, I'm just going to be gluing the other edge with it. Going to be cutting the excess and I'm just going to be cleaning those like bits because my twine is one of those that has like pieces all over the place. Some twines don't, they are a bit more delicate, but mine does. So this is going to be like two sided. One side is going to be like the stripes and then the other side is going to be the drawing part. For the stripes, I'm going to use my sharpie first i'm going to mark the lines i'm not going to be measuring anything this is just by eye because i want to give this a rustic look kind of but if you want like precise lines just go ahead and use a ruler i'm going to be marking with beads the stripes that i want black and then i'm going to close my like stripes like this i'm going to use my black acrylic paint on my brush painting the stripes that have the bee on it it's pretty simple and then because i didn't like the shade of my yellow it was like too bright for what i wanted to go for i ended up painting this whole thing again and i did that by mixing that with more orange i'm sorry for this i just yeah this is one of those things that you change your mind after you see how it's looking like at the end i'm really sorry about that i was like kind of annoyed to be honest as far as for the black stripes i ended up um, using more black once this was dry and just painted like i did before then I'm going to be taking my mechanical pencil and my eraser and I'm just going to be drawing some bees. First I drew the wings, basing myself from that to, you know, draw the whole body and the other one and then just like the movement they make. And just something that I wanted to mention, even though I was uh, using an eraser, it doesn't work as well as if you were drawing a piece of paper. Uh, maybe it's the acrylic paint, it's harder to work with. Just make sure you have like a sketch before you draw on like the paint. Then I'm going to be taking some wet acrylic paint, my detail brush, and I'm just going to paint my wings, giving them three coats until they are dry. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie, drawing what I drew with my pencil. I saw an idea like this online, I think it was on Pinterest, and I wanted to give it a try because I thought it was really cute, but they were using different mason jars, like one had the stripes and the other one had the drawing, but since I just had one mason jar, I wanted to make this double-sided. But I think it's really cool to have it like this because maybe sometimes you want to like look at the drawing and some other days you want to look at these types and of course you can use it for some flowers for some like school supplies even but in my case i'm going to be using this to store some like kitchen stuff kitchen tools and i do use my drawers to uh, like store some stuff but some other stuff i like how it looks like as a display i think it gives the kitchen like a cozy vibe plus it's easier handier to have them right next to you but yeah hopefully you like this and if this was helpful if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more kitchen decor and like uh, storage ideas i have on my shelf and subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye